What's up guys, Cheap Beast, AK Noah, back today bringing another video. This time we're doing the June sneaker releases. June's an alright month so far for sneakers. There's a ton of stuff coming out early on in the month, and then later on it kind of fades off, but that's mostly because the video is at the start of the month, and towards the end of the month a lot more sneakers get confirmed. Um, there is some stuff that's unconfirmed that I am going to talk about um, that could release that would definitely boost up June, but June's looking alright so far. Um, but we're almost at 500 subscribers, so if you guys would hit the subscribe button at 500 We are gonna do a giveaway so the closer we get to 500 soon we can do the giveaway So I'll uh, hit the subscribe button below also like the video it helps me out a lot So um, with that being said, let's get right into the June sneaker releases. All right So the first sneaker release is actually on the third. Um, it's two di Nike dunk lows um, They were delayed from last month So it's gonna be the Michigan and the team green which is basically the Michigan State um, They're both gonna retail for hundred dollars. Like I said, they were delayed from last month um, so they were in last month's video if you want to watch a little bit more about them but um one's the michigan so it's like maize and blue and the other one's white and green so like michigan state um they're releasing on the third nothing crazy more dunks coming out but um they're definitely gonna sell out the next one on the third is the jordan one court purple it's going to retail for 170 dollars it's a women's release um so i don't know if they're going to have the extended sizing to make it go up to like my size like size 13 so like 14 and a half women or something like that or they're just going to keep it to like maybe like size 10 and a half guys or something like that like 13 women i don't really know exactly what the stopping point is um but it is a decent looking sneaker it's all white and then it's got like the purple accents on it i'm pretty sure there was like a metallic purple a little bit ago that looks basically the same but this is at least a new one i don't know if it's called court purple exactly um but that's what i found um, not bad. I, I like it. I like the all white and then the purple accents. I wish it was more general release, but for a women's release, it's really good. Then on the fourth, we have the Nike Dunk Low Light Soft Pink. It's going to retail for $100. Um, another women's release. Uh, it's kind of got Easter colors, so like some pastels, some bright colors. Um, but Easter was a few months ago, so it's not really an Easter sneaker for release then. It probably went pretty decent. Um, it's all right. It's a Dunk Low and another women's release. Brighter colors. So if you're into like the brighter colors, like the pastel colors, pretty good one, especially for a women's release. On the fifth, we have two sneakers. We have the Jordan 6 Electric Green. It's going to retail for $109. Um, it's mostly black with some neon green accents. I'm not a big fan of the Jordan 6. Haven't really had any. Um, but this one's not really my favorite. It's just I feel like there's a lot of colorways like it. I don't know if it's like a... It's probably a retro. I think I've seen it before. Um, but it does have a glow-in-the-dark outsoles, which is probably the coolest part of the sneaker. Um, but for just a Jordan 6, it's all right. Not my favorite. I don't really wear Jordan 6s, so... Um, I think it would be a good one if you do like Jordan 6s, um, but the electric green, not bad and um, decent colorway, but nothing too crazy. Then also on the 5th, we have the Nike Fragment Dunk Low uh, Beijing. It's going to retail for $150. It was part of a city pack it, back in 2010. Um, back then it was a little different now. They're both the same sneakers back then they like were mismatched um, But the other ones in the city pack were London and New York um, This was the Beijing one obviously, um, but it is black and like dark purple the whole time. It's a dunk high too um, So it's not like the dunk low. So I don't know if it's gonna go as crazy as if it was a dunk low um, But for a dunk high it looks pretty decent especially for into the dark colors uh, I would kind of like it a little brighter the purple is a little too dark for me um, but I'm definitely gonna try to get it because it's a good collab and it's a dunk high so it's gonna do well um, I don't know if there's a crazy amount of hype behind it, but there probably is but I'm not really into the dunk high so um, good colorway at least like in general but um, it's a re retro so it's definitely gonna sell out next up on the seventh we have the first Yeezy of the month it's the Yeezy 700 NMVN bright cyan um, it's gonna retail for $220 um, it's a 700 MNVN so it's got like a different material on the upper and then it's kind of black on the outsole um, but it is in this uh, cyan colorway um, not bad actually I think it's a good sneaker for summer um, brighter colorway I think it looks all right I don't I haven't never had any of these like in hand so I don't know the quality on them I suppose they're not as good as like the normal 700s but um, I, they're probably a little lighter too because they're made out of a different material but I think the colorway is pretty cool and I have like like the 700 MNVNs I just haven't picked any up but um, pretty good easy 700 to start off the month then the eighth we have the Nike Dunk Low free 99s um, these are going to retail for $110 and then so there's just a ton of colorways and the sneakers are a little different I know there's a little bit of a backstory on these but I don't really know it too well um, they're all right. It's another dunk low. I think they're going to do better than some of the other dunk lows for months, especially since I think the free 99 maybe is an older colorway, but I'm not exactly sure. 
Um, they're definitely going to sell out because it's a dunk low and every dunk low sells out, but um, not my favorite choice colorways, but I do like that the sneakers uh, mismatch. Then in the 10th, we have probably one of the better sneakers of the month, uh, at least in my opinion. It's the Ah Ma Meniere uh, Jordan 3. It's going to retail for $200. This was a women's release. I don't know if they had extended sizing on this one. I feel like they may. Um, but I'm not exactly sure, but it's an Atlanta base um, like store and I know they have other stores uh, The sneaker has been released at least in their stores. So like the Atlanta area has them. I've seen pictures of them I've seen them in videos um, But there this is gonna be the wire release on sneakers So there are gonna be a ton more of them So if they don't have extended sizing then whatever, but I think it's a pretty cool sneaker I actually like it a lot, but I don't know if they're gonna have it in my size because the women's release It's definitely gonna sell out just because it's a Jordan 3 and a collab and I don't know the resale on it But I think it's probably like 400 something dollars right now so not bad and definitely a sneaker to look out for then on june 11th we have the nike dunk high game royal um it's going to retail for 120 dollars um this is basically like a kentucky colorway there were the kentucky dunks last year maybe two years ago at this point i think it's probably last year and i actually like the kentucky dunk lows uh this is the high version of them um they call them the game royals but they're kind of just kentucky colorway so they're the game royal and white uh, colorway on the top so if you're into dunk highs i think that's a good one to pick up because it's a pretty simple colorway and blue and white's pretty easy to wear um but it's gonna sell out because it's a dunk high and basically every sneaker sells out then also on the 11th we have the easy 700 end flame ember it's gonna retail for 220 dollars it's kind of got a tannish upper and then the orange midsole which they've been using a lot of orange recently especially in the end flame stuff because there was an end flame 500 that released last month and now there's a 700 this month um, to me, it kind of looks like a wave runner, a little different. It's got like that tan upper and not as many colors as um, the 700 does or the wave runner does, but it's not bad. The toe looks a little wave runner esque, um, but it's a decent colorway. If you're into like the, the orange colorways on your Yeezys, then it's a decent one to pick up. But if you don't really care for the orange, um, this might just be a pass for you. Then jumping all the way to the 19th, we have another Yeezy. It's the Yeezy 500 Taupe Light. Um, it's going to retail for $200. So if you guys can tell in a picture, it does kind of look like a blush colorway. I think the only difference is it it's slightly darker. So if you don't mind it being a slightly darker than the blush, which the blush came out maybe a year or two ago, and it's pretty popular because it's pretty basic. I think it was one of the more the earlier 500s. Um, so definitely one that you could look out for, especially if you're looking for a basic 500. Um, I don't think there would be too much of a color change um, between this and the blush. Um, so if you want, if you couldn't get the blush and now a blush is too expensive, I don't really know the resale on them. Um, this might be a good one to look out for. Then on the 21st, we probably have one of my more favorite releases of the month. Um, it's the Jordan 1 Light Fusion Red. It's going to retail for $170. Um, to me, it kind of looks like an Iron Man colorway or like McDonald's even. But I like to say Iron Man because I feel like Iron Man would sell better than McDonald's one. Um, and I don't think it'd be as popular as some other Jordan ones I've released in the previous months, like the Hyper Royals or the University Blues, because I think people like those colorways more. Um, but for this one, I think it's pretty good looking at it. I feel like it's not going to sell insanely well. I mean, it's going to sell out, but like resale won't be insane. Um, but if they call it like an Iron Man Jordan one, definitely would have sold out a lot more. Um, but I like the colorway. I think it looks pretty good. I, I'm going to try to pick it up, but we'll see. I never went anything on sneakers recently. So um, for Jordan one, I think it's pretty good. One of the better releases of the month. Then we have a couple sneakers on the 24th. The first is the Yeezy 350 V2 Mono Pack. Um, so there's going to be three colorways. It's the mono ice, clay, and mist. Um, they're all going to retail for $220. I'm pretty sure they're all location dependent. So North America gets one, Europe gets one. I think Asia gets one is how it normally works. And I think from what I've seen, I think the mono ice is the North America one, hopefully, because um, I think the mono ice is the best colorway of all of them. Um, the clay is a little orange, and I think the mist is a little brown. Um, but they're a little different than normal 350s. Normally 350s, like the stripe on the side, or at least the V2s, is the translucent part. This one, I think there's more of like the whole thing's translucent and there's like a cage that you can see in the sneaker um, that kind of just like hugs your foot and you can like see your sock and everything. I think it looks pretty cool. The mono ice is obviously my favorite, but if you're into like the orange uh, Yeezys or the brown Yeezys, uh, the other two colorways aren't bad. But I'm not sure exactly where everyone's releasing. I just hope the ice one's coming to North America. Then also on the 24th, we have another delay from last month it's the nike dunk low university blue it's going to retail for a hundred and dollars um, it's a basically a UNC colorway. Um, they've been releasing a ton of UNC stuff, uh, UNC colorway stuff, or Carolina blue stuff, or University blue, I guess is what they're technically calling it. Um, but it's another dunk low. I think it's probably one of the better dunk lows of the month. Uh, it's easier colorway to wear, at least in the summer, and probably one of my more favorite dunks that have come out recently. 
And then the last confirmed sneaker on the 25th is the Yeezy 450 Dark Slate. It's going to retail for $220. I'm pretty sure this is the second colorway of the 450. The first one was all white. This one's basically all black. It's still a weird sneaker to me. Even seeing it on foot, it doesn't really get any better. Um, it just looks like it got like claws that wrap around your feet, and it doesn't look like it'd be super comfortable to wear all the time just because there's not a ton of support. Um, it reminds me of those like toe shoes that came out forever ago that were like made for hiking and stuff like so you can feel what you're doing i don't know i wasn't a big fan of them i don't really like these that much uh i don't know if i like the dark slate colorway or the um the all white colorway more or the cloud white, i think it was called um but if you're into the 450s definitely one to look out for but i'm not really into this sneaker so there's like two unconfirmed sneakers so far this month the first one would be the undefeated nike dunk low it's gonna it doesn't have a retail price but i imagine it'd be like 110 100 um it's blue snakeskin and purple looks all right if you're into the dunk lows um it's an okay to look out for you undefeated collabs are always kind of cool um but i don't really like the blue snakeskin on it and the material for the purple looks a little weird um but it's it's gonna sell out it's a dunk low um i'm not sure if it's released this month but it might so it's something to look out for probably towards the end of the month and then the last sneaker that could potentially come out this month is the union jordan 4. um it's gonna retail for 200 250 dollars like the last ones did um like i said this is the second collab with jordan on this on the jordan 4 model um these colorways are a little different the there's the topaz and the desert moss i prefer the topaz out of all of them uh, you guys can see the pictures um, it's the better of the two colorways this month, but definitely the first collab that they had in the fours was better um, If you guys don't know you can see the pictures I'm pretty sure everyone said they were ugly and then they found out you could unstitch the ton and make it look normal and everyone liked them um, Those ones were better in my opinion um, Than these ones. I don't really like these ones that much, but they're Union Jordan So they're gonna sell out and do pretty well and people will probably they'll, they'll grow in people like the first ones did um, but the first ones did really well after everyone saw that you could like undo the ton and make it a lot better. So um, first collab that had on the fours was better, but obviously these are going to do really well and any union collab with Jordan's going to sell out. So another good sneaker and probably one of the better ones of the month. So that was everything for the month of June so far that's confirmed and then the ones that are unconfirmed. Um, it's looking like it could be a pretty decent month, especially if some of the unconfirmed stuff um, comes out towards the end of the month. So it will be pretty decent. Again, they could add stuff throughout the month because um, that's what they do. And like Nike and Adidas, all that kind of stuff, add stuff. And there's other sneakers that come out through the month. Um, these are just ones I, hi I highlight. Um, so let me know in the comments which one of your favorite sneakers that you're looking out for this month. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.